myself am not as fully trained or experienced as these two. and victories against Pat Monix, in addition to Jake Andrews and Roy Flash Gordon, the high profile victories against top flight stars, he's been steamrolling over the competition. For TDS, he gave Justified a run for his money last month in his building and I think he wants to put Jazz down for the count here as well. His career, his desire to get into the best possible physical shape and in-ring shape has definitely been a motivational factor not only for himself, but for a significant number of individuals throughout his inner circle. He tests boundaries. He is very direct and very plodding in the ring, and he has confidence. An over amount of confidence does DDS. Well-rounded, very experienced. He has excellent in combinations, reversals, and submissions. And is well known for high impact offense, but Jazz is so quick. And that's one thing that TDS will have to deal with is the quickness and the knockout strength, the knockout power of Acid Jazz in this match. I uh, hope you learned something from TDS there. Guys. Before the match really got underway, he was stretching a little bit. Throws a point to stretch. You don't want to injure yourself in the match. He doesn't want to injure himself. In terms of having respect for your opponent, you don't want to hurt or decapitate them either. But TDS has done both of those things before. Big arm drags, and again, Jazz's quickness is definitely a challenge for TDS in this struggle. Well, TDS has not learned his lesson yet. He has literally stuck his arm out there for Jazz to whip him down over and over again. Control. Got a bit of a cat and mouse game going on here. Jazz has used chocolate powder in the past to try to get an upper hand on his opponents. TDS missed the elbow drop and Jazz just lured him into that trap. in recent months. You never know if you're going to see the, the cool, calm, and collected ass of jazz that's here for fun, or if you're going to see the one that's shady, that's here for business, that will take matters upon his own hands to win and to literally try to aggravate and also to bully his adversaries. Right here, I think we're seeing a combination of the two, aren't we? But as the, as the match goes on, as he starts to get his opponent, that he starts to turn into a different ass of jazz. He starts to pull his opponents and mess with them as he says. Jazz pummeling the hand of TDS before he crumbles to the man. Jazz has a lot of fans standing in approval, but he can't put away DDS right there. One thing that is for certain is not aware of the fact that Jazz has these accurate strikes, these pinpoint beautiful takedowns, perfected the great footwork, the balance. I think DDS is realizing this is more of a challenge than he thought. The amazing ring in there, the ring in there. hand and arm and you know what Nat Grove he was going after that left arm on purpose that's the one he hits that knockout shot with the weapon of jazz destruction jazz has some whoa why he swung wildly with that left forearm how many bottles of water do you need oh my that's one way to go through the turbo power washer 
Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no! Chance is left-handed and gets that solid steel ring pose. One of the hardest surfaces of the whole ring. And Chance's hand has been damaged. And DDS has plans on making the damage even worse. We were mentioning the fact that there were pitbull tendencies demonstrated by Cutler earlier. What do you think about DDS? Right here, going after the left arm and wrist and hand. And, and this, Jazz. this comes from DDS's experience. Why waste your, your, your energy on He's trying to shield the damage from his left arm, but DDS goes straight after it with this hammer lock. Now the front face lock. Fans think he's a bum. I disagree. He's a very well polished, top notch athlete of the ring who's getting better over time. Time and perfected back elbow smash. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about the fans. Just jumping tassels. That's all. Well, you know, tassels on it, the attire, I think, could be a hindrance. I mean, if your adversary can grab you and can pull you in any direction they want using tassels, I think that that's not a fashion statement, but that's that could be a catastrophe for DDS and that. I'm sure he's thought about that. He thought about he's but now, if he wanted to, he could wrap a tassel around the back of his throat. Oh, I hope not. I hope not, Dad. That would be terrible. No, it wouldn't. These fans want Ash to chance to fight back. Arm bar by DDS. Jazz trying to bridge out of it. He rolls him over. He's got his shoulders down. And DDS had to let go of the hold before suffering the defeat. Very smart move by DDS. DDS. absorbing abuse and again behind the back his wrist is trapped he's gonna slam him and Jazz ain't the top by his collarbone and this gives Jazz a little time to recover right now can Jazz hit slice chalk with the weapon of Jazz destruction with one damaged very damaged left arm and wrist Jazz is hanging in there and I think that before this match started, I would have said that Jazz was a slight favorite going in, but after the damage he has suffered, I'm not so sure. Left arm clothesline. Again, how's he doing this damage with a bad arm? Up in the air. Slide buster by Acid Jazz. Very animated fans. They love their adult beverages. Hey. concussive like drop that was. The greatest spectacle in professional wrestling. Almost scored the win right there. I thought he had him right there. He's finished off numerous competitors in his career with that maneuver. And with Jazz already being beat up, I thought he had him right there. DDS says that's 
sick. He's had enough of playing around with acid jazz, and he doesn't want to give him any more openings. And this is bad news. Jazz is holding out of the top rope for anything he's got. Elbow to the head as well. 